Oi! No, 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 no. What do you mean? No, 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 no. No, no, no. He was. It's ah, both. No, 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 no. You can have my, my dad, my dad, that. How about that? How about that? Please, how about that? Not you! No! I got two little people. People. There you go, four diamonds. Whoa! That's a lot of dirt and stone. For real? Hey, yo! I'll actually take a bunch of stone, not gonna lie. My dad is so good. Oh, I'm this. I will get revenge. Both of you! I don't want to give suit my dad animals. Bloody stupid dad. Diamonds. Dumb dad. Suffer my rage, bitty! Hello, Superman here, and welcome back to the Herminecraft server. This is episode 4, and we got diamonds. We got diamonds, baby. Woo! My helmet's broken, but it's fine, because now we can make all of the diamond armor we need. But now we have full diamond armor. Look at that. Look at how shiny we are. We can remove these as well, and we can place those oh yeah oh yeah this this feels nice this feels good hell yeah <laughs> but of course we're not done yet we need to enchant all of this stuff because um even though it's good it's very good but we kind of don't want it to break on us so bending is very important so we're, go we're gonna have to get some of that and we're also gonna need to be extra protected with some protection for um unbreaking Etc, etc, all the fun stuff that we all need. Okay, so I've managed to enchant some stuff. Not my full stuff, but something. But to enchant the rest of the things, we're gonna need some more levels because we're at 28. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that village and we're gonna give them some trades so that we can get our XP. So some of the easiest materials that we can use for trading are stone, granite, diorite and logs so we can trade sticks. So we've got ourselves some stone cutters and some fletching tables so that we're gonna make our way to the village and give these villagers some jobs. Because there are a bunch of villagers, most of which don't have any trades. And the trading process begins, but it's long and boring, so I'm gonna cut to the cool part where I show you all the epic enchants I got. Except I forgot to do that, so here's some lovely images of the base enchants I got. Alright, now that we have all the base enchants for our tools, we can buy some books. But before we go buy some books, we gotta make a stop to Xite's base. Why? Well, because a couple days ago, we got a villager, and he's got mending for 12 emeralds, which is an amazing price. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy 8 books. There we go, 8 mending books. Alright, next stop the shopping district. Alright, so first we're gonna make our stop to Mimerk's shop just because they're a bit cheaper because they're one diamond for three books and I've seen that he has in stock some unbreaking books so I can take three of those and now we go to Bitty's shop. I have an entire shopping list here. <laughs> I need two efficiency five, looting tree and sweeping edge, thank you, feather falling and depth strider, Amazing. Aqua affinity and protection 4. Beautiful. Nice. Got all the books I need from this shop. Alright, now we need a bunch of XP to enchant all of our stuff. So let's do this, shall we? And there we have it. A full set of enchanted diamond armor. Oh yeah, this feels epic. <laughs> alright, alright, so I'm getting some gravel, right? I got some gravel over here. And this is from Air's mining, strip mining thingy. And I'm gonna need some gravel for more concrete for future builds. And I find some quartz, so I went to mine it. <laughs> and <laughs> guess what? I found the brie! <laughs> Yo! What are the chances? Oh. No! <laughs> oh no! I burned in lava! Oh no! 
Oh. Oh, it's flo- I'm an idiot. Hey, there it is. Now the question is, how do I get that one? Hey, my first debris, let's go. I was so scared for a second. <laughs> All right, but that's enough grinding because I'm itching to do some building. Now I'm gonna take you guys to a bit of a trip, which is my brain. It's not a nice trip. I never said it was a nice trip. So next to these houses, I want to make a long road. But as you can see, I've got the animals in the way. So we've got to need a place to put these in. And what better place than somewhere over here where they're out of the way. <laughs> so we're gonna do some planning, <laughs> which is the hardest part probably. So this will be like a wall, a supporting wall. And this area will be huge fields and barns to host the animals and the wheat because currently I'm just using the reserve of wheat I have up there which I collected from villages I looted throughout my adventures. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some terraforming and we're gonna start mapping out where we want to place our barns and our fields. <laughs> and of course this would be best suited in the form of a super fast time lapse. So let's go! <laughs> So we have cleared out a nice area around the base. This took a lot more work than I thought. I had to clear out a lot more than I thought, but it looks natural. It looks nice. So the next step would be to start implementing the walls over here and start placing the buildings of the barns and the fields around. So I think we can continue with building the walls. <laughs> Uh, I know I'm interrupting the time lapse again, but I wanted to give a small update. So the walls have been constructed, but I've also made some plans for the buildings that we want to make. And I've also removed some of the barriers that were present here, and also all of those huge trees, because they were getting in the way. So this is gonna be the plan for the farm. Everything in between is gonna be fields. So now I'm gonna stop bothering you again. You y'all can just sit back, relax, get some popcorn, get some snacks, whatever you want, and uh, enjoy the time lapse.
would you look at this absolutely gorgeous ah I love it so much oh when the Sun is setting that is beautiful yes I'm using a bit of shaders because this is mostly appreciated when it's in shaders but I am so proud of this it's so simple yet it's so nice the texturing isn't out of this world and the buildings are very simple but all of them combined makes for such a cozy village I love it so much now yes the interior isn't done yet but that will be done later on I'll probably do it next episode or the episode after depending on what I feel like and these custom trees as well. Everything about this. I love it. I love it so much. It's all so beautiful. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this building process as much as I had um, making it. I'm just gonna sit here for a couple of hours admiring this village. And I will see you later in the next episode. Goodbye!